All right, Eric Rivera, talk to the people, man. Let them know what's getting ready to go down. What's up, Eric here, Fitness Phenom. I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different exercises and variations that you can do in order to build bigger arms. Working the forearms, biceps, and triceps. Right? So, first one I'm going to show you is a pretty standard dip. We've all done this before. We need a dip bar. Right? There's different ways you guys can do a dip. You have the vertical dip, where it, which targets your triceps more. Right? Where your body stays a little more vertical and you go down in a straight line. Right? This focuses a lot more on the head of the tricep. Now, um, if you lean forward a little bit, you start to utilize your chest a little more. Right? Your triceps are still being worked. They're one of the primary movers that you use your chest. So you have your vertical depth, and when you lean forward, you can call these chest dips. Right? So you're, uh, two variations of this. Now, um, another one is a tricep extension. Right? A lot of people don't actually work on these at parks or in a bar or whatnot. Um, I like to use a dip bar for these. You can use a straight bar, you can use a P bar or, or a dip bar in order to get this up. Find yourself a P bar, you grab onto the bar, you're going to break at the elbow right, so that your tricep is doing all of the work. Right? It is not a press. Right, or a chest press or a shoulder press with a tricep extension. Right? Just like you would do at the gym with skull crushers or the tricep extension with the rope. So you're gonna grab onto the dip bar, you're gonna break at the elbow, and then extend the tricep coming up. Again, this is gonna target your triceps a lot more than standard pressure, pressure like a push-up like a Third one, push-ups. Now with push-ups, you have a bunch of different grips that you can use in order to target your triceps. Right? So, you have your close grip. The benefits of close grip as well, you can also work your chest. Right? Or your diamond push-ups. For speed, I like to take the legs a little wider, the center of gravity, all the way down, and then press up. You have your standard push-up which you stack your joints, right? So you go a little wider and shoulder width apart, wrist on the elbow, elbow on the shoulders, feet together, maintain that nice solid plank, chest to floor, and then you press up, down and up, right? And then you can go a little wider, just to change the variation, just make sure when you go wide, do not flare your elbows out, right? You wanna essentially tuck those elbows in, so we, again, focus on those triceps. You have your diamond, you have your standard, we you stack your joints, and then you have a wider grip. So again, different exercises for you guys to focus on your triceps. You have your dips, your different dip variations, you have your essentially your skull crushers, your tricep extensions on the dip bar, and then you have your different variations for the push-up, and again that'll target the different heads of your triceps. Okay. Right? Now, if you want bigger arms, biceps, forearms, right? We'll go over to the pull-up bar. You want the pulling motions in order to help build a bigger bicep. We're going to pass on the inverted rows or we'll come back to it. Um, or you we'll just focus want to focus more. on the bar? Yeah. Okay. So you're going for um, different grips. Out here, Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. So, if you have access to this type of pull-up bar, the one with the ladder, right? mm -hmm. it's very beneficial because you have a bunch of different grips that you guys can use. Right? Let's start first with the fat grip, which is going to be the outside of the bar. Right? The fat grip will focus a lot more on your forms. Right? The thicker the bar, the more emphasis will be on your forms. So again, a fatter grip, Cameo. more form. Right? Then we have our different neutral grips. One, two, three. This obviously is going to have the form, but it's also going to incorporate the biceps a little more. Full range of motion. You can go a little wider. The wider you go, the more lats 
incorporation you're gonna have. Come on. You have full range of motion, you can go super wide. There's gonna be a lot more lats, but still your biceps are being activated. For those wider grips. Okay. So you have your thicker bar for your forearms. You have your different grips for your biceps. But then you have the king of all bicep exercises, where you have your chin ups, right? where your palms are facing the back. Chin ups, full range of motion, all the way down. Back up, right? And then obviously, you have your pull up, palms facing away, which incorporates the lats a little more, but your, your biceps are also being worked. And so, again, in review, we have a thick bar, which is going to work your forms. Right? You have your different variations on the wide grip, which is going to work your biceps and your lats. And then we have our traditional chin up and pull up bar. Pull up and chin up grip. You have your pull ups, it's going to work your biceps and your lats. You have your chin ups, which your main emphasis is going to be on the biceps. Now, if you're struggling with these, this is a good variation to do if you don't have pull ups and you want to work on your own. Alright, we got two different. So, is there any difference in your opinion? Is there any difference? The lower it is, the more difficult the movement is going to be. Right? Okay. So if you're really struggling, you don't have a pull up, but you want to work on your arms, you want to work on your lats, you could use a higher bar. Right? So you want to lean back, make sure you're not sagging the hips down. Next to straight, you want to pull up, and come back down. If you want to make it a little more difficult, get closer to the floor. The closer you are to the floor, the more difficult it's going to be. These are going to work the same muscle groups as a pull up, right? So you're working your forearms a little bit, you're working your biceps a lot, and you're also working your lats. So you get a little bit of benefits there. So, um, if you want to build big arms, you want to push, you want to pull. You have your push ups, you have your dips, you have your tricep extensions, and then for bigger biceps, you have your pull ups, different grips, you have your forearm grip, and then you have your chin ups. Uh, for bigger biceps as well. So, give that a try. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Those different movements. Again, if you don't have pull ups, scale down to inverted rows so you're working the same muscle groups. All right, thanks a lot, uh, Eric. Um, links to his YouTube page. Yeah, subscribe to his YouTube page. Links will be in the description box. Also, follow him on Instagram. Links will be in the description box, man. Thanks a lot, my man. Eric, it's been a long time. Thanks for coming back on the channel, man. Hopefully, more videos in the future with you, man. Yes, sir. All right, man. Good looking. Is this no motivation?